This is the Schmo with the pro, the number 11th ranked middleweight in the UFC. Brad Tavares just finished up practice and got a massage. How you feeling? Uh, feeling good now. Just got worked on by a uh, friend Gene and body's feeling right. The Schmo was waiting forever for you, man. Do you like it firm or do you like it soft for the massages? Uh, gotta go with that firm, deep tissue, but uh, Jean is like crazy. Like she uh, is beyond deep tissue. I feel like she starts massaging my bones and uh, a little bit uh, torturous, but afterwards feeling great. Hey, hey, you can take it, man. Now talk to me for a second. The last time we saw you in the octagon was July 2018 against the current champion, the style bender, a long way off. You had that arm procedure. Yep. Where are you at right now, Brad? Uh, right, right now I'm just excited to be back, you know, it's been way too long of a layoff um, and not by choice. Had some medical stuff going on, broke the arm, had to get surgery, bunch of complications along the way. But right now just excited to get back out there, you know, um, and let this middleweight division know that I'm still here and still one of the top competitors in it. You're fighting an undefeated high riser, Edmund Shabazi, and he's young, he's hungry. What do you make of your opponent? You know, honestly, I, I've watched him, and I think he's a tough kid with uh, with a bright future, but it's, it's not going to be his night, you know. Um, I, I look at him, and I just feel better everywhere. You know, I'm a better striker. I'm a better wrestler. I'm a better grappler. Um, he does have momentum, you know, and obviously I, I don't take him lightly. So uh, I'm expecting a tough fight from him, but November 2nd, I'm just going to show everybody that I'm the better fighter, you know. That's right. That's coming up next week. And I said number 11. Speaking of number 11, you on the Ultimate Fighter number 11, Chuck Liddell, Tito Ortiz. Man, did you see that documentary on ESPN, the 30 for 30? I haven't seen it yet. Um, I did see the previews for it when I was watching the fights, um, but I, I still have to go catch it. Um, I got to live it a little bit, you know, and see their rivalry firsthand. Uh, Chuck vs. Tito, um, Ultimate Fighter, that's the season I was on. And uh, it's real, you know, those guys genuinely don't like each other. I'm not really sure of the past, and I'm sure I can see what really happened on that 30 for 30. What happened back in 2010? Is there one thing that comes to mind between the heat between the two of those guys? Uh, nothing really stands out, but it, it, it was genuine, you know. Like you, you can tell when people are like putting on a show like just for cameras and it wasn't that uh in their little interactions you, you could see the irritation between the two and uh just the genuine dis dislike for each other and now for yourself man you're coming in here you haven't fought in a long time they want to feed you to the wolves to the young guy you got a lot to prove you're hawaiian man the schmo was just over in tokyo won championship we saw angela and christian lee yep. Have you trained with those guys? Uh, I have not, you know. Um, I, I've been watching them, though, and, and I think they're awesome competitors. It's so cool to see uh, fellow Hawaii natives do so well. And uh, from what I hear, they're like superstars out there in Singapore, you know, for one. So props to them. And, you know, if you guys are seeing this, just keep doing what you're doing because you guys are doing an awesome job, you know, representing well. Um, I, re I really like the two of them as far as... Uh, just you know how they are and not just inside the cage but out um, I think they represent the sport well I think they represent Hawaii well um, their team and coaches just all around you've been in this game a long time over a decade are you not going to leave until the UFC finally gets a card in Hawaii <laughs> yeah you know uh, all the Hawaiian fighters have been asking for a UFC Hawaii for forever um i remember back in 2012 hearing like oh it's gonna happen 2013 it's gonna happen 14 15 you know like all of it till now you keep hearing it um you know but we got we got a champion in hawaii max holloway who's been very dominant so uh, i think the time is now you know we have so many hawaii fighters that we need to make it happen you know um, between the UFC, the state of Hawaii, like just come together and figure it out, you know, so we can give the fans a show um, they'll never forget. On your fight card, there's Darren Till moving up in weight against Calvin Gaslam. How do you see that one going down? Um, I, I think, you know, stylistically for Till to move up against a guy like uh, Gaslam, like, you know, it, it, it favors Gaslam a little, uh, a little more, you know. Um, He's more of a wrestler with good striking, but uh, we'll see if he goes out there and does that, you know? So I'm leaning more towards uh, Kelvin. You know, he does have that very good wrestling pedigree, but he can also strike. And, uh, you know, Darren Till is a big guy, but he's coming up a weight class, so I don't think the size would be as much a factor here. 
You fought Robert Whitaker. You fought Style Bender. You fought some of the top dogs in the division. Who hits the hardest? Hits the hardest. Um, I mean, obviously the fight with Whitaker. You know, he caught me, so uh, we'll probably have to say that. But uh, I don't know. I don't feel like any of them really hit like, like I don't know. I've never felt somebody hit me and be like. I mean, if they hit you hard enough to knock you out, they're hitting hard, right? But uh, I don't know. I guess I'll say Whitaker out of those guys. If you get the result you're looking for in the Garden in New York, where do you see yourself playing out in this division, future opponent-wise? I know you don't look at the rankings. Yeah, um, you know, honestly, the rankings are crazy. They have uh, the guy I was supposed to fight, Ian Heinish, who fought two, two fights and against unranked uh, opponents and uh, number 10 all of a sudden yeah. so they really don't mean anything um, obviously I just want the big fights the fights that are gonna propel me to contender uh, position you know so I don't know I haven't really looked past uh, Edmund yet but uh, I don't know I f I'll fight anybody really you know final message for all the Brad Tavares fans out there worldwide I just want to say thank you guys for your continued support. I know it's been a long time since I've gotten in the cage, but uh, please tune in November 2nd on ESPN2 and uh, watch me do my thing. Inside Extreme Couture, he's the pro, I'm the schmo. We're out.